As we get to the end of the atmosphere, the air just begins to get thinner and thinner. Just like if you go up in the air here, you drive up to the mountains, it gets a little bit thinner. As you keep going, it gets thinner and thinner. You get an imaginary elevator and you keep going through the troposphere, through the stratosphere, through the mesosphere, through the thermosphere, it gets thinner and thinner. There really is no place where the atmosphere stops. It just keeps getting thinner. The molecules keep getting farther and farther apart, but they never completely stop existing. Um, so some people consider a point pick a point wherever you might pick it 300 400 500 kilometers and say at that point the atmosphere is really done and we'll call everything beyond that the exosphere because it's so thin it pretty much doesn't exist the one thing that is important about the exosphere is that it allows things to stay in orbit uh, things are in orbit because they're going at certain speed and the speed they are going uh, basically makes it so that as they curve and fall to the earth they are going so fast, they actually curve around the Earth as they fall. And so uh, that their speed essentially keeps them curving in that big circle around the Earth. Um, now, if you were to run into air and slow down, you'd never, you would no longer be going fast enough to curve around the Earth. Instead, you'd slow down but fall just as much and you'd curve into the Earth. Um, so being out in the exosphere is very important for satellites because there is no or very little air resistance and so they can keep traveling without any energy input from thrusters or something like that. So that's the exosphere, very thin, just kind of fades away and uh, into space.